Good afternoon, Year 8. Sorry I'm not in your class today. I've got an interview, so I'll, I'll miss maybe half of the lesson. Uh, I'm doing a video for you to show you exactly what I want you to do so that we don't waste any time and you don't fall behind compared to the other classes. So today's lesson, we are going to be working on your cardboard sculpture that you designed and planned last lesson. So I showed you these as examples of really good cardboard sculptures. Your sculpture is going to be based on the artwork of Berlin and you will be using this thing as a reference, okay? The equipment that you'll need today is you'll first off use some tracing paper or layout paper and that's going to help you get the right shapes for your sculpture by tracing. You're going to need a cutting knife because you're going to be cutting cardboard, the pencil because you're going to be drawing on the cardboard, glue because you're going to be gluing the cardboard together, and the cutting mat because you need to protect the table, okay? You'll find as you come into the classroom that there's two examples that have already been made. This one here is a really nice exemplar and especially the way that they've cut the cardboard and laid the hair up is nice. And the way that they've used the fine liner for the eyebrows around the nose and the lips is nice. Yours might look a little bit more like this because we get to see both uh, viewpoints or profiles of the face and I think it's also nice to show a bit of texture by removing a layer of the the cardboard on top to show those stripes so what you're going to do Miss Shana's taking the camera is with the layout paper with the layout paper put it over your portrait you're going to need your pencil and you're going to sketch the outlines of your face. Now it's very difficult to see underneath. We can't use the light box because there's too many layers of paper. So it's okay to lift the paper up and then trace the lines. And I'm gonna try and do the eye. But my eye is quite difficult to see. It's around here somewhere. My eyebrow comes around there like that. Got a line. Keep checking. Okay, and sketch out the shape of your face by tracing the plan that you created the other, the other week. I need some scissors. Oh dear, oh dear. I didn't put scissors down as some resources that you need. And you're going to cut out the shape. That you, oh, no, I'm going to cut all the way around it. This is where I need to speed up the camera. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. This is where I should tell like some sort of interesting story to keep you occupied. But I don't have one, so I was... da, da, da. I'm cutting this really quickly. So that can go in the bin. And this is the background. Okay, this is the base. And if I turn my existing example over, it should be about the same shape. Okay? So you can then use the rest of this template to create the shapes for this. So you'll cut out, you'll cut out this shape and then out of a separate piece of cardboard, stick it on top, okay? Now I'm just going to go and get some cardboard. Miss Jana will have a pile of cardboard on that table ready for you. But the cardboard for me is over here. This is four minutes long. I hope you're not really bored. But the cardboard, health and safety is required. You only need to show about that much of the blade. There is absolutely no need to have the blade completely open like that. It'll snap and it's dangerous. So about that much of the blade, that's all that's required, okay? When you're cutting the cardboard, I want you to cut away from yourself. So you do not cut towards your hand like that. You do not do that. Put your hand above and cut away from your hand, okay? Health and safety. Another good technique I've found for if you want to create these lines, these stripes, a nice easy way of doing it 
is to sort of put your pencil underneath the first layer of paper and then it rips off quite nicely. Your pencil's about the same thickness as the corrugations, so it'll just peel off quite nicely. Okay? Like I said, I'm not going to be away for the entire lesson, only half of the lesson. So when I come into the classroom at 2.40ish, I should see the base of the portrait cut. And I should also see the profile, the lips maybe cut, and other details that you want on there.